assalamu alaikum everyone today the topic of discussion is a viral infection which is due to molluscum contagiosum virus so its most epidemiology most common in childhood usually less than five years of age and early adolescence its most common in warm and humid climates are area with poor hygiene and up to 20 percent of hiv positive patients have symptomatic infections etiology so its a dna pox virus and its transmission is either direct through auto inoculation or through fomites. Risk factors are immunosuppressions, active atopic dermatitis in children, hot and humid climates, and crowded living conditions. Suspect AIDS if large persistent widespread lesion appears on adult. Clinical features so its incubation period is about two to six weeks. On physical finding, you will have single or multiple lesion in the healthy patients, while there will be widespread lesion in immunocompromised patients. These lesion will be non-tender, skin-colored, pearly, dome-shaped papules with central umbilication. Individual lesion may also be painful or prurotic. Usually, two to five mm, but it can be a giant lesion greater than 15 in immunocompromised patient. And papule contain a caseous plug. On squeezing the lesion, there will be cheesy material coming out. Uh, sites so in children usually face trunk and extremities while in adult lower abdomen groin genitalia and proximal thighs chronic follicular conjunctivitis may occur as a molluscum contagiosum viral particle spread into the conjunctiva of thighs so follicular conjunctivitis can result so these are the skin colored pearly dome shaped papule with center umbilications Papule with central umbilications. And this picture shows molluscum contagiosum with concurrent conjunctivitis. These are the lesions here. This picture shows molluscum contagiosum lesion with oral candidiasis. And these are also umbilicated lesions of the molluscum diagnosis is usually clinical but uh, seek the underlying etiology of the lesion in adults and are widespread biopsy is usually not necessary but considered in case of immunosuppression pathology so it's usually localized to the epidermis and you, uh, you will have these finding like a conthosis the epidermis will be thick cup shape invagination the epidermis invaginate into the dermis and there will be molluscum bodies which are keratinocytes with eosinophilic intracytoplasmic inclusion body containing viral particles. So you will have a conthosis, cup shape invagination of the epidermis and molluscum bodies. So you will have these all type of diseases which you can keep as differential. Treatment so spontaneous remission usually happen within few months. Treatment is often unnecessary, but consider treatment for sexually transmitted molluscum contagiosum, immunocompromised individual, and immunocompetent children up to upon parental request. Treatment modality so you have physical, pharmacological, and there is special therapy for immunocompromised individual. Physical, we have cryotherapy, so lesions are freezed with liquid nitrogen, and this is the first line treatment for adolescents and adults as it is better tolerated than in children and cavitage then we have uh, pharmacological niche we have topical cantharidine which is uh, preferred in children we have podophyllotoxins topical imiquimod which are immunomodulators that increase the production of cytokines and uh, it is used for the treatment in immunocompromised patient which are refractory disease in some cases. For immunocompromised with severe and refractory disease, we can use sidofovir and interferon alpha. In complications, so there can be development of scarring, hypopigmentation, and secondary bacterial infection. So that's all about molluscum contagiosum.